What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So, wait, I'm going to say this right now. 99.4% of you guys are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button because it's your first time on the channel and you're going to like it. So today on the channel, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the ratio right and pretty much the easiest way to mix two-stroke gas. So if you're interested in what I have to say about it, stay tuned. All right guys, so mixing two-stroke gas is pretty darn simple and straightforward. You just need to know your measurements and uh, exactly how much oil needs to go in per what you want to mix. So a lot of people run different ratios. Um, if you're running chainsaws and small equipment, um, you usually are running 50 to 1. Uh, I choose to run 40 to 1. It's a little heavier on the oil. Uh, it's just my personal preference, so we're not here to argue about personal preference or what type of oil to use. Um, that's literally just how I do it. So if you're looking at dirt bikes or uh, four-wheelers that are two-stroke, usually they call for 32 to 1, sometimes uh, different numbers. So everybody has their own uh, mixture that they would like you to set, uh, put it at. I would always say recommend the, the manufacturer's instructions. Um, I go a little bit heavier on the oil um, just so I don't have to change up my fuels for break-in, stuff like that. So let's go over the ratio right because this makes it extremely simple when mixing. So I'm going to roll in a picture of this or this might be enough, but this is basically a graduated cylinder except for it's not a cylinder, it's kind of like a cone, okay? So a graduated cone, if you will, um, it, it has all of the different... Uh, ratios for one gallon, one and a half gallon, two gallon, and two and a half gallons. So as you guessed it, if we're mixing five gallons, we need to do the two and a half, and then it literally will show you exactly what the line is for 40 to one or 50 to one. Um, it goes to, it goes from 70 to one down to 16 to one. So uh, it definitely covers you. Uh, by no means am I getting paid by ratio right. These things are just awesome. Uh, order them on Amazon, they're like seven bucks. And like literally this has been around for years, so why not do a video on it? So let's go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this five gallon, um, 40 to one. Things I recommend, pro tip, um, go to the gas pump and fill up 5.000 gallons. That wasn't hard, okay. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna, uh, this time around I'm using Royal Purples, uh, HP 2C, they're full, full uh, synthetic. I'm going to go ahead and put it at eye level so you're not, you know, looking at it in a different way. I'm going to go ahead and pour in 40 to 1 here. So, do, 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 do. All right. And right about there. Okay. So, 40 to 1. There's two and a half gallons at 40 to 1, so we're going to pour that in. Let it drip out a little bit. Good enough for government work. All right. And another two and a half gallons. Right. So with the ratio right, you don't need to worry about how many cc's or, or how many milliliters or how many fluid ounces you're using. It really doesn't matter. And guess what? You just pour it in until it's to the number and you dump it in. Piece of cake, just like that. So I highly recommend the ratio right. It just makes it that much easier. I'll let it drip for a little bit but otherwise it's good to go. So go ahead and knock off a couple more drops here. And literally after that, you can see exactly how it's kind of mixing. Now, I don't recommend shaking it vigorously because when you shake gasoline vigorously with no vent, um, it tends to build pressure. So um, just get it a little bit shook up. So in time, as you carry this bad boy around, um, you're going to mix it up. Um, I rock it back and forth like this. Now you can always take off the top uh, cap here um, unless you're shaking it vigorously enough that it's coming out of the tube at the top. I mean, you're shaking pretty darn good. So just go ahead and shake this up. Obviously, don't do this towards an open flame or anything like that, but go ahead and shake it up. Now the ideal way to do it is put the oil in first and then add your five gallons. It mixes it pretty darn good. So you can use the ratio right before you go to the gas station, but 
then I would need to put the oil in and then go to the gas station to start the video again. So um, I just did it in kind of reverse order, but this still works the same. So it really doesn't matter. Um, it all works the same. You just, every time you pick this up, you're going to mix the gas up again. So um, it's pretty straightforward. So we're gonna go ahead and put our cap back on and uh, ready to go and put in our power equipment. So if you like the ratio right, you like the idea of it and just take all the guesswork or the math out of the equation, you can check it out in the comments below. I put a link to it, it's pretty sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into, I really don't care. Uh, click that subscribe button so you can see more awesome videos just like this in the future. As we're doing anything from chainsaw stuff, firewood cutting, uh, to how-tos around the house, projects, uh, tool reviews, heck, boot reviews and sock reviews, um, anything man-related or women-related depends on what you're into. So I hope to see you guys around the channel, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.